and Brian Brown makes the right hand turn into victory lane. I'm not sure I've ever seen Daniel Lasowski as excited as a win as a driver. Unbelievable. Danny, Danny getting in there, some congratulations. congratulations. Brian has popped up. A huge win here tonight. That car was on rails. Heather, his wife down there in victory lane, his stepmom, his dad is right there. To get the safety gear off, he'll be coming up on top of the car. Here he comes. Make some noise for Blackjack Brian Brown! A big-time win on a big-time big weekend as Brian Brown, Brown puts it to the World of Outlaws at the Knoxville Raceway. Helmet off. There's Daniel Lasowski with a big congratulations. We'll get downstairs to Chase Rodman. These two have won races in the past together, but never with the Outlaws, never in such a big way here. He's coming around in front of the race car. Make some noise one more time for Brian Brown. Undoubtedly a very popular win here at Knoxville, and the Knoxville local gets the job done tonight against the Outlaws here, Brownie, but how important is this one for you and Danny Lasowski? You guys do it against the Outlaws. You've, you've never done it against the Outlaws. You've never done it uh, against the Outlaws at Knoxville. I mean, this is a huge, huge win for you, a huge, huge win for him. Johnny was just saying he's never seen Danny this excited before. Yeah, uh, Danny, I mean, it's been a, been a great since he's came on board. Uh, but me and Danny are just a small piece of this whole puzzle. Uh, Justin Lawyer, my dad Robert, uh, Cindy's down here helping us, uh, my wife Heather. Uh, Charlie Garrett engines are phenomenal. Um, you know, Maxim chassis, FK shocks, Vortex wings. Uh, Casey's General Store FEP, Impact Signs, Awnings and Wraps, uh, Andy's Frozen Custard, uh, Rowdy Energy, Smiley's, Weld, Ditsfield Champion Oil, Howsby, Waldinger. Um, the list goes on and on. JD Welding, MC Power, Maxim, Impact. I think I said that, but I don't want to leave anybody out because they're all important. And Ditsville Transfer, we have people from there tonight. So uh, what a race, man. Uh, I, uh, I felt like I had a car that was able to compete with Brad there. And then I've been having a little bit of an issue with my motor not taking off. And me and my engine builder, Charlie Garrett, has been working really hard to try to get it going. And uh, it didn't take off very well on that one start. And I didn't really really want to see a double file but man my car was so good it makes so much power and so much ground speed once I get going and I knew if I could get going Spencer got by me and I cycled back and I thought man this this thing's good and then we got to traffic and um, that move that I kind of got by Brad there I've been I used that a couple weeks ago so it's it pays to run here and, and, and race with you guys so uh, man it's uh it's just a dream come true. It's uh, to beat to beat the outlaws. Everybody always says, "Oh, Brian can't beat the outlaws, or he can't do this, or he can't do that." But we just beat the outlaws tonight, and that's pretty special to our team. So, uh, and 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 it's it's special to you guys. Uh, that one's Knoxville. Chalk that one on the board to Knoxville. So that that means a lot to to put you guys on my shoulders and, and get us in victory lane. So. Uh, it's just been uh, been a great year so far. Uh, proud of our team. Um, I got a, a big, got a big day coming up Thursday. Um, no race, no nothing. My grandpa, which is my hero, is having open heart surgery, triple bypass. So uh, could use all the prayers we got. And uh, I wasn't going. I wanted to be able to give him something to go in there on Thursday and be proud of. And uh, he'll be proud of this trophy. And I hopefully he'll be proud of me. But just uh, just a great night all night long. Uh, proud of our team. Two nights in a row. Uh, Don Lamberti's up in the suite. David and Julie Goodson. Uh, Gina and Brian Isaacson. All the Ditsfield family. Um, a lot of our great partners are here. Uh, it's not on Dirt Vision. It is. But they're here watching. And that's important. And uh, I'm going long-winded, but I'm just I'm so proud of this race car team and so proud of to be able to represent and get a win finally for, for Knoxville Raceway. Can you explain to us what happened on that restart there? I think it was the second restart. It looked like you got together with somebody and lost a lot of ground there. Yeah, I just, I, somebody, uh, my motor didn't take off as like I wanted it to. It wasn't bad, it just didn't take off like I wanted to, and Spencer got in the back of me or whoever was behind me got in the back of me and um, you know got me sideways, and I, that, I, at that point I thought it was my race. Um, but my car was so good, so, so, so good. Um, just uh, hats off, like I said, Danny, uh, my dad, Justin, uh, Cindy, uh, my wife, Heather. It's just uh, 
great feeling to be able to pull that thing in the victory lane 59 times. Now tied on the third, third on the all-time win list right there, Brian Brown wins the Brownells Big Guns Bash. We're going to talk to one more person down here. Danny Lasoski's down here in victory lane, and Johnny was saying that he's never even seen you that excited for a win as a driver. You won as a crew chief tonight. You're more excited, man. Congratulations to you guys. Thank you very much. It's hard to believe that, that I'm more intense as a crew chief than I ever was as a driver. You know, uh, uh, my whole career, I've been a really, really big fan of Brian Brown's. You know, I helped him get his start with my dad, and uh, there's nothing more that makes me proud to be a part of this team with Casey's FEP, all these partners here that make this happen. It, uh, it's, it's, a, it's just an honor to be with this team and having horsepower like Charlie Garrett, man, oh man, makes my job a lot easier. So how much does this solidify you as a crew chief? Obviously, we know you as this incredible race car driver with the World of Outlaws, but how much does this solidify you as a crew chief? Well, I mean, thank you very much for the honor of that, but when you got a driver to sit something to see like Brian Brown, and, and we got Robert and Justin, the guys behind us, but we, you know, we do this as a team and have fun as a team, and that's what it's all about. All right, Danny Lasowski, the winning crew chief here tonight, but the race winner, Brian Brown, gets it done. Night number two of the Brownells Big Guns Bash. Brad Sweet was second, Spencer based in third. Another good one here. Tonight, John. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Chase Rodman. Here is your full field rundown. Brian Brown, the winner in the 21 second of the 49 of Brad Sweet. Third, the five of Spencer Baston. Finishing fourth, car number 15, Donnie Shots. And fifth, the 41 of Carson Macedo. Sixth to the 1S of Logan Shewhart. Seventh, the number two of David Gravel. In eighth, the 39M of Anthony Macri. Ninth, car number eight, Aaron Reitzel. And in tenth, the 24 of Rico Abu. Finishing 11th, the 18 of Giovanni Selzy. Twelfth was the 83 of James McFadden. Coming home 13th, even out of the work area and getting tonight's KSE Hard Charger Award, the number 17 of Sheldon Hottenshield.